Thank you for joining us once again. Mayorga Coffee is known for celebrating Latin culture and empowering coffee growing communities through sustainably grown high quality coffees. We're pleased to be joined today by co-founder and president Martin Mayorga. Welcome to Hispanic Agenda. Thank you for having me. Well, we're big fans of, of your coffee. Now, you started, you were very young when you started the company. You were 24 years uh, old. What, how did you get into the uh, coffee business? Well, technically, I actually was in the coffee world about three years before that, so I was about 21. And really, I got into it because I, I grew up in Latin America. I, I was born in Guatemala, lived in Nicaragua, Costa Rica, Peru. And going back to Nicaragua in the early 90s, um, a family friend who I refer to as an uncle showed me that he was struggling financially because he was a coffee farmer and could not make money. And he showed me the supply chain of how coffee is bought and sold and that there was no opportunity for farmers to actually make a sustainable living. And um, being naive and hungry and I had to pay my way through school, I said, well, maybe I can help you. If we cut out everybody else, we'll sell the coffee in the U.S. straight to a roaster. And it was successful and we saw that we had a model that would actually provide farmers the opportunity to, to grow uh, and not just transact coffee just to survive. So when you talk about taking care of the farmers, uh, this is not some marketing strategy uh, for you. I, I read some of your blog posts. You're very uh, opinionated about this. You're very, very critical <laughs> of other yes. companies on how they, not necessarily of other companies, but how others uh, treat uh, some of these farmers. What is it that we need to know? You know, I think ultimately we forget in general where our food and where our products come from and there's people behind everything we do. Um, and in coffee, which is a very common beverage that people sure. drink every day and pay a lot of money for, there are people who are sustained and their livelihoods depend on it. Um, and I think it's important to know where it comes from and more importantly, how it's transacted. And that's not the consumer's job, it's our job in the industry to really change that because the way it's transacted today is structured in a way that's oppressive to coffee farmers. How, how is that so? The industry's set up in a way that uh, it's big money. Big money dictates how coffee moves and how it's paid for. Um, farmers grow coffee and they need financing up front for, for harvesting, for employees, for whatever it, it need, they need to, uh, to get to harvest. And they rely on their resources, which are typically coffee mills mm -hmm. that are owned by multinational, multi-million dollar conglomerates that give them high interest loans and tie up their crops at a very low price and really um, structure it so that the farmer doesn't see the benefit of a direct uh, market. And I like that you're a guy about action because, for example, I was reading, um, apparently there's going to be 374,000 jobs that are going to be lost in Central America, uh, specifically dealing with a, with a fungus uh, called... Um, Roya. 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 Um, so you went down there uh, and you said, all right, let's grow something else that, that this Roya is not going to, isn't affecting. Exactly. Helping these farmers. And I think that shows that we're I, people first. I, I love coffee, I love our industry, but I love people and care about people more and see their struggles as something that I can do something about, then I do something about it. And with Arroyo, there's an immediate impact, which is people will not be able to feed their families. Sure. And there's a long-term impact for the industry that we need to s protect our supply chain and make sure it's uh, sustainable and the quality is there. So we need to address both. And like you said, you know, sometimes you just have to get in there and fix the problem. And the, the scenario we found was to plant chia. Okay. We uh, advanced them the money for, for the chia seed to plant. So we're gonna see Mayorga chia? It's under a different brand, but you'll see it, yes. All right. Um, it's, it's, it's just a, it might be a long term, might be a short term, but we, we want to help uh, alleviate the stress on the farmers. So what's the future for uh, Mayorga coffee? Single serve uh, cups? Uh, what are you doing? What, where are we going to see Mayorga Coffee in the future? Where do you see your company in the future? The way we see our business and our growth is based around how do we best go to origin and buy more coffee? You know, I don't see, I'm in sales and I'm actually the only person in the company that does the uh, national sales growth and the business development. But I see myself as a representative of the coffee farmers. How do we sell more of their coffee so we can buy more of their coffee? Okay. So we do some single serve cups. We do um, whole bean two pound in clubs. We do groceries. We have some shops. So for me, it's wherever we can maintain the uh, aspect of organic, which is very important to us, not only for the consumers, but for the communities that grow the coffee, and the direct relationship. Um, and after that, it's, it's where can we ex execute on opportunities to grow that. That direct uh, connection with the farmer. Completely, and with the consumer. People okay. forget that fairness is a two-way street, cool. and uh, we need to be fair to the consumer as well. Uh, and let me ask you this just, just to finish. How, how do you drink your coffee? Uh, 
I like black coffee, but you know what? I like sugar. Yeah, with sugar, no. <laughs> I think no. it's just from Latin America. It just uh, okay. I like sugar, uh, but okay. I, I do drink it black too. All right. Thank you, Martin Mayorga. Thank you for being here. Don't forget that Hispanic Agenda is Washington's only bilingual news program. Look for La Agenda en Español on Telemundo Washington and be sure to join us again next week right here on News Channel 8. Thank you for watching and we hope that you keep us on your agenda. We'll see you next time.